All right, question number five. We have our final question of the day: barotrauma. Barotrauma is probably the most common injury for divers. Okay, do not feel bad that this happened to you, but realize that you put yourself in this position. You should not have been diving if you couldn't equalize. Either you were sick, or you just couldn't do it that day. And、uh, you've pushed yourself too far, and you've caused damage. Barrow trauma means pressure trauma, and that's been to your sinuses and your ears. This has happened to me once, okay? And you know, after a dive, you can get slightly achy ears from pushing it. It's a bit harder as an instructor dive master because if I have a group of ten people, it's hard to call up to dive if I'm not feeling great. So、uh, you kind of have to push through it, unfortunately, professionally. And、uh, one dive I was going on, I had issues going down, and I was struggling a bit. We're diving. One of our new open water divers does not push the right button on his VCD, and he actually inflates, and he starts to shoot up to the surface, and it was very dangerous. And I had to make a call in that scenario, and I swam after him to catch him, dump his air, and pull him down. Unfortunately, by doing that, yes, I did help him from shooting up at like 20 meters, 18 meters around there. But I got severe barrow trauma, and I've never had anything like this. My ears filled up with fluid, and on my right or left ear, I can't really remember. It was like this for like two weeks. And it was terrible. And I remember I was in severe pain. But then after that, the worst part was I couldn't hear out of my ear. Okay, the first thing that I did and the first thing that you did is that I called Dan. You can call Dan the the insurance, and they will help you for free. They will connect you to a doctor. You can get a consultation on the phone for free within ten or fifteen minutes, and they will walk you through the scenario. Okay, we recommend you go to the hospital. Or okay, I'm sorry that happened, but right now all you can do is rest and don't dive for this amount of time. So I called Dan. I got a consultation, and at that time I wasn't even a member, and I was really grateful for them. And、uh, it lasted about two weeks, and it was nasty. I even went to an ENT, and we stuck a camera down. We looked around, and it was just that I pushed myself. So one thing that she had me do that I hope can help other people, because I've told other divers this, and it's helped them. So my tip here would be pre-diving, like a week leading up to diving and a week after diving. I do not use Q-tips for my ears. I know it sounds crazy. But once I stop doing this, I stop getting barrow trauma injuries to my ears or achy ears, like that diver ear, because she was saying that by using the Q-tip, I was inflaming my ears and I was actually causing pressure and swelling before I even went diving. So I found that when I stopped using Q-tips before and after dive trips and during dive trips, of course, that my barrow trauma went away and I don't get that achy ear that I always got. So I hope that helps you. Best thing to do. Let's recap here. Call Dan. Get a consultation. Go through the scenarios. How they can help you. Is there anyone in the area that you could go visit personally, and then go to an ENT and do what you gotta do. All right, but try the Q-tip trick. I hope it helps.、Uh, side note: I tried all those ear drops and all those things. I think they're, you know, snake oil. I think it's all a gimmick. For me, they didn't work at all. In fact, I almost felt like they irritated my ears and made it worse. So、uh, those are my two cents, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, drop us a comment, and we will see you next week. Thanks.